What time is it? I. What time is it? One fifty-two. What time is it? It's the super great at home movie time. This is my weekly series. Every Wednesday, the Great Big Picture Show puts out a video in which I recommend something for you to watch in the leisure of your own home from possibly Redbox, Netflix, Amazon Prime, or Hulu. And for this week's video, I'm going to be focusing in on the Mark Duplass star, Creep. Now this small little horror movie was written and directed by Patrick Bryce, and he also stars, but considering it is a found footage movie, it actually stars the very, very popular and busy Mark Duplass. Our setup is our videographer in the movie is a guy trying to make some money shooting things for people, and Mark Duplass contacts him to help him shoot a video because he says that he has a disease and believes he will die soon, so he wants to make a video for his children. The found footage genre is pretty burned out by now. But what's done here is extremely strange and extremely uncomfortable. And considering the amount of screen time Mark Duplass has, the movie hinges on him being very, very creepy. Now, when this movie came out, it was pretty polarizing. From what I know, a lot of people really don't like it, but I really do. It's basically a one-man show with Mark Duplass taking center stage, and it makes for an extremely uncomfortable experience. The movie slowly but surely begins with this guy being really, really friendly and being not too off-putting, but it, as it continues and develops, he just becomes increasingly more strange and uncomfortable to be around, while also having specific details leading you to think maybe he is normal, maybe we're judging too harshly. Patrick Bryce does a nice job directing, uh, using different tricks for the found footage format to keep things interesting with overnight camera shots and little tricks trying to catch Mark Duplass here and there and sometimes missing him. Nice job and nice development of the story. Not really being able to guess where it's going or how it's going. The tone is really, really important here, and I think he does a really nice job balancing between it's really, really odd what's going on, but maybe it's not, and maybe he's a normal guy. And of course now this leads us to Mark Duplass, who plays the main character. And like I said with the balancing of the tone throughout the movie, it pretty much all hinges on him, and I think he does a really, really nice job keeping you hooked in to this guy's character, continuing to want to know exactly who he is and why he is doing this. Maybe he's telling the truth, maybe he's not. He keeps things really exciting and actually pretty funny in a dark way. Considering him and his brother are a huge writing and directing duo, he is actually a really, really solid actor from his turns in Togetherness, uh, Safety Not Guaranteed, and also The One I Love. I think that he has a real talent for it, and this movie is a really, really good description of seeing a guy like him who has done a lot of similar kinds of things, but now getting to see him in a completely different capacity, and really doing a nice job and being wildly uncomfortable. With this one, you can find it on Netflix. It's a really small, quiet little horror movie that surprised me quite a bit and just continued to keep me interested and engaged as to where it was actually going, keeping the strangeness of it on its sleeve and uh, never really understanding fully what everyone's motives are until the very, very end. But yeah, please give it a shot. It's on Netflix. Please let me know what you guys thought if you watched it. I'm very interested to know everybody's reaction to it because I know some people who really don't like it. But it actually really, really intrigued me and I like the very, very simple, subtle aesthetic that they have. This, as always, is The Great Big Picture Show. You can see the Super Great at Home Movie Time every Wednesday. My name is Spencer Howard Belden. Please like, share, and subscribe to everything with this face on it. Also, please comment. Let me know what you're seeing and let me know what else is out there. Let me know if there's anything I'm missing. Please have a good day. Please have a good night. And please hug someone so they know that you are hugging them. Not just with your heart, but with your body. It's nice to be nice, guys. Yay!